Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. Today's video is a very long overdue request from Carlos, and he wants me to watch Brooklyn from 2015. As per usual with every film that I watch on this channel, I have no idea what's going to happen and I have no idea what this is about. But the fact that it's a brand new movie for me, and the fact that Carlos has hyped it up so very much, I am very excited to watch. So thank you so much for requesting this film, really hope that you specifically like this reaction. And to everybody who is watching here right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And to everybody else over on Patreon, I also do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there, thank you so much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access and polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon, it is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls, which are ran every single Friday, and that is $2 a month for that. So let's dive on into this. I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I am very interested to see what it has to offer. So with that, I hope each and every single one of you likes this reaction video, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy! I was <laughs> <It's> just like... <laughs> Mrs. Brady, what would you like this morning? Half a dozen rashers, please. Of course. Eilish oh. will get that for you now. I was next. And you still are. Oh, okay. Yes? I need some shoe polish. Shoe polish? That's not really a Sunday item now, is it? These people need things for their dinner or their tea. What couldn't you have remembered yesterday? Because it looks like you needed it yesterday. Oh, my. Rude. Why aren't you helping, girl? Huh? Help these people out. She was just standing there like... la -di da I'm away to America. Oh. He found me a job and got me a visa. Well, we won't be needing you back here. What? I could work oh. every Sunday till I go. No, thank you. Your poor sister. My sister? Oh, oh my God. Mothers are always being left behind in this country. But Rose... That's the end for her now, isn't it? She'll be looking after your mother for the rest of her life. I don't like her. She's mean. Drop the guilt some more. God damn. He looked over here twice already. He <laughs> has me. <laughs> He's walking over here now. <laughs> Why would I keep lying to you about what George Sheridan's doing? Is that really everything you own? I should have looked after you better. Oh. You've bought most of the clothes in this case. It's one of the reasons I'm going, because I can't buy my own. If it was just that, I'd spend every penny I had on you. Gladly. Well, that's nice. You look after yourself. You don't have to worry about me. And I'll come home to visit, won't I? Oh man. She's so pretty. They're both so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh. Already the music is really nice. <laughs> Number one, bottom bunk. That's mine. You're on the top. Oh, okay. This is hell. <laughs> Never again. Supposed to be a rough one tonight, so none of the other passengers are eating. A few spoonfuls of soup, maybe. But not the mutton stew. Oh, well, that's concerning. Oh, no. The bucket is free game. Oh, oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I thought she was going to throw up. Not shit. Oh, layered. Blech. The bathroom door was locked all night. Oh, those bastards. Oh, look at her go. There, won't be very comfortable, but at least it's ours. Oh. <laughs> Open the door. Back off. Open the door. Do you hear me? Fuck off. <laughs> oh. If you'd been nice last night, we would have played fair. Okay. I like her. <laughs> Where are you going to live? Brooklyn. How do you know that? Lucky guess. <laughs> Stand up straight. Polish your shoes. And don't cough, whatever you do. Uh, yeah. Don't be rude or pushy. 
I don't look too nervous. Uh. A new chapter begins. New level unlocked. I mean, I can't really imagine going to a completely foreign country and just starting up. No family, no friends, no nothing. I don't know. That takes a different type of brave, I feel. Irish, from the look of you, you have greasy skin. Is that oh. right? Oh. What do you do about that? Well, I wash it, Mrs. Q, with soap. There's nothing wrong with soap. Soap was good enough for our Lord, I expect. Oh, and which brand did he use, <laughs> Miss McAdam? Does the Bible tell you that? <laughs> our Lord was a man anyway. He didn't care about greasy skin. <laughs> Ladies, no more talk about our Lord's complexion at dinner. Please. <laughs> Oh god, please be nice to her. Because I love her already, and if y'all are mean to her, we're gonna have a problem, okay? <laughs> well, I saw a movie with my boyfriend. What did you see, Dorothy? I saw The Quiet Man, Elish. They filmed it in Ireland. Oh, I'm from Ireland. I know you are. And that's why I thought you might be interested. That is another movie I do need to see. One of my friend's mom was like, you need to watch it. You need to watch it right now. She said she literally said that to me the other day. So it's funny that I was just mentioned because I was talking to her about going to Ireland. So shouldn't be a moment. What is this? <laughs> Remember, if people like it here, they'll come back. So you treat every customer as if she's a new friend. She's from Mad Men. Everyone's pretty in this movie. Literally everybody. All the women, specifically. <laughs> the mom needs to not die in this movie. Okay? Because they kind of just, they've done like two little hints at it. I'm not a fan of the idea. Okay? Thank you. We talk about you every evening, of course. We want to know everything. I'm sure you're busy. But even if your lessons were 200 pages, they wouldn't be long enough for your mother. Oh. No. I've enrolled you in a night class for bookkeeping at Brooklyn College. Oh. Every three nights a week, and I paid you tuition for the first semester. Wow. This was the case responsible for the Deep Rock Doctrine, so it's maybe the it's biggest milestone <laughs> in parents' idea. Did you understand any of that? Let's hope the next hour is easier, huh? Lectures are never easy. I am so glad I'm not in college anymore. Here, here. Eilish, Father Flood told me about your Christmas plans. Oh, you're not serving lunch to the old fellas who've nowhere to go, are you? Eilish, you're a saint. They smell awful. She oh. only knows how they smell because that's where she goes husband hunting. <laughs> These girls, oh my goodness. A marvelous thing you're doing, Eilish. A Christian thing. I wish there were more like you. Okay, I love that dynamic, actually. It's great. Just the, the table dynamic. They all Irish? They all Irish. Wow. These are the men who built the tunnels, the bridges, the highways. God alone knows what they live on now. Wow, that's sad. They came and built things and they all need a meal. Yeah, problem really hasn't gone away in terms of talking about like veterans. Unfortunately. Hmm. Wow. That was pretty beautiful. <laughs> wow. Now, Miss McAdam is leaving us. She's going to live with her sister in Manhattan. She has the best room in the house, the basement, and it has its own entrance. Now, I can only let a certain kind of girl stay there. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking. So, you're having the room, and that's that. Wow. Oh. Girls, you'll oh. take Dolores to the dance with you on Saturday night, won't you? We're going to see a movie instead. Well, I'm sure Dolores would enjoy a movie just as well. I would, so long as you don't mind being a gooseberry. So you both miraculously found boyfriends over the last couple of days, did you? Well, I hope you have more luck with these than you did with the last few. Will you be going, Eilish? Yes, Mrs. Q. Well, you can take Dolores then. Of course. <laughs> oh, boy. No. There's nobody here. <laughs> I'm 
Oh wow, they came. The liar. What a terror. Oh! That's what the old woman called them. Said they were all bitches. <laughs> That's better. Now you don't look like you came in for milking the cows. Is that what I looked like? Just a bit. Oh. Nice clean cows. Maybe you can have a dance later. Sorry? A uh, dance later. Wow, well that was rude. Do you hear with that guy? When he was teaching you to dance? No. Would you dance for me? <laughs> Just looking at him. Ah, whoopsies. My mic. Where do you live? Clinton Street. Yeah? Because I'm on my way home. Uh -huh. I'm not Irish. You don't sound Irish. <laughs> I need to make this clear. No part of me is Irish. I don't have Irish parents or grandparents or anything. I'm Italian. Well, my, my parents are anyway. You didn't need to tell me that he was Italian. I want everything out in the open. I came to the Irish dance because I really like Irish girls. And I was the only one who would dance with you. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, so you danced with loads of others. Oh, there's no winning with this one. <laughs> Can I take you next week? Maybe get something to eat first. That'd be nice. nice. I'm watching you, young man. You treat her nice. I swear to God. I know people in Brooklyn. Watch yourself. <laughs> She plays golf and she's really good at it. And if she'd been at the dance last Saturday, then I don't think you'd have looked at me twice because Rose is beautiful. I'm worried. You haven't eaten anything. <laughs> she's been talking. <laughs> Too busy talking. Yep. <laughs> the dinner table again. <laughs> is this all because Ailish just found herself a young man? Ailish is a young man? We didn't know. She won't say anything about it. And why should she? To you awful gossip mongers. <laughs> I see now that giddiness is the eighth deadly sin. A giddy girl is every bit as evil as a slothful man. And the oh noise she goodness. makes is a lot worse. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> They're losing it. <laughs> oh, man. All I want to do is travel home with you. No food, no drink, no nothing. I know you got to study and get some sleep. I'll take you to your house and say goodnight. Otherwise, too long to wait. Well, how nice is he? Don't mess it up. Swing a gun. Swing. Mm. Uh, will you come for dinner and meet my family sometime? That's it. <laughs> I'd love to. You like Italian food? I don't know. I've never eaten it. Wow. It's the best food in the world. Well, why would I not like it? That's, yeah, you're right. Can we go see a movie this week when you're not in night class? I'll sign up for two movies. Even if the first date is a disaster, I'll give it another chance. Wow. They're both nice. I like their dynamic. It's, it's complimentary and it's nice. I like it. You're like a different person. Uh. How did you do it? Maybe I can pass some advice on to the next poor girl who feels that way. I met somebody, an Italian fella. No, oh, no, I'm not passing that on. I'd rather <laughs> have them homesick than heartbroken. Oh my goodness. Does he talk about baseball all the time? Or his mother? No. <laughs> then keep him. There isn't another Italian man like him in New York. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Hold it. Oh. Now remember you're getting off easy because we haven't got the sauce. Yeah. You have to remember that the sauce flies everywhere. So take it slowly. I'm gonna say splash anytime I see problems. Good idea. <laughs> Can I start now? Yeah. Go. Oh, this is too good. <laughs> splash! <laughs> you just splashed his mother, his father, and the walls. Wow. Let's go again. They're too funny. Oh my goodness. Think of you and mother every single day. But Tony has helped me to feel that I have a life here. I didn't have before I met him. My body was here, but my life was back in Ireland. Oh. Oh, and I better warn you about Frankie. He's been talking, and he's talking about all the things he's gonna say to you. What's oh. Things? We don't know. It could be anything. <laughs> I, mean, I, 
I think he's looking forward to causing trouble. Oh so god, it's gonna be something. This is gonna be something. Hey, how the fuck are you at? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, what are you eating, Ireland? Just Irish stew? Not just we. So first of all, oh, I should say that we don't Lord. like Irish people. Hey, hey, Frankie. Oh! What? We don't. That is a well-known fact. Why are you Frankie? Because a big gang of Irish beat Maurizio up and he had to get stitches. And because all the cops around here are Irish, nobody did anything about it. Uh, there's <laughs> probably two sides to it. I might have said something I shouldn't. Freaky. They probably weren't all Irish. No, they just had red hair and big legs. Oh, right. oh my. Oh, that's it. You're done. I'm sorry, Eilish. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a rude idiot. <laughs> So is Tony offered to take you to Abbott's Field when the season starts? You like baseball? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you never mentioned the Dodgers? They're that important to you. Put it this way, if our kids end up supporting the Yankees or the Giants, it'd break my heart. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was funny. <laughs> that went just as expected. But eh, they're all nice, so that's good. I love you. Woo! Thank you for the evening. It's lovely. Oh, well, okay. I, I shouldn't say it back. Shouldn't say it back. Panicking ensuing. But she's also probably panicking. Yeah, I can't really tell how much time has passed in terms of them being in a relationship. But also, you know, back then, things kind of moved a little quickly. So, <laughs> in terms of relationships and whatnot, so... Oh no, he's not there. Oh, it's probably because she didn't say I love you back. Uh... Hey, Lesh! Oh, okay. Uh, Good. I'm sorry. I didn't think you were coming. Yeah, I know. I thought you were going to think that. That's why I wanted to be here, no matter what. You remember that after I had dinner at your house, you told me you loved me. Well, I didn't really know what to say. But I know what to say now. I have thought about you. Oh. And I like you. Oh? And I like being with you. Maybe I feel the same way. So the next time you tell me you love me, if there is a next time, I'll say I love you too. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I thought we were having a different kind of talk. Oh. Even that little shit Frankie. <laughs> it looks to me as if you didn't just pass those exams, you flew through them. Wow. I can't remember the last time anyone came in here with good news. <laughs> Have you told Tony yet, Eilish? Of course. And is he taking you out to celebrate? We're going to Coney Island at the weekend. Oh boy. What does that mean? But do you have a bathing costume? No, I was going to... Do you have sunglasses? No. You need sunglasses. <laughs> I read that if you don't have Beach them on the beach this year, people will talk about you. <laughs> Diana's right, though, Eilish. You need to think carefully about your costume. It's the most Tony will ever have seen of you, and you don't want to put him off. He will not be put off. He is a nice man. <laughs> You're all right there for the moment. And most Italian men <laughs> oh appreciate a fuller figure. Oh, my Watch goodness. Over the summer. Look how cute! Oh, my God! Right, I'm ready. She looks so cute! I still miss you and mother and think about you every day. Aww. But I think I can say that for the first time since I've been in America. I'm really happy. This is a lot to do with Tony. At the weekend, he took me to see the Brooklyn Dodgers, the baseball team he loved. They lost, so he was denied. Hello? <laughs> Who'd have thought there would be two bookkeepers in the family? Hello? No, 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 come on, you f what happened? Are you f why? What happened? I was literally about to say, please, nothing bad happened. 
Oh, it's been too good for too long. I hate it here. Stop it. What happened? What happened? It was sudden. I think perhaps she was ill. And she knew she was ill. Oh. And she didn't tell anybody. When will they bury her? Tomorrow. Oh. You're too far away, Eilish. Why did I ever come here? No. Rose wanted a better life for you. She loved her while you were doing. But I'll never see her again. No. <sighs> you know, what the f- What the f- I thought it was going to be the mom. Can the mom definitely not die now? That'd be great. People really loved her, Eilish. Her friends from work, the neighbors, everybody. No, I'm going to cry. Oh, God. When your daddy died, I said to myself that I shouldn't grieve too much because I had the two of you. And then when you went to America, I told myself the same thing because no. she was here with me. No. Everyone's gone, Eilish. I have nobody. <sighs> want to go home, I guess. How would it be for you if I did go home? I'd well, be afraid every single day. Afraid that I wouldn't come back. Yeah. No! <sighs> this is it. We're going to build five houses here, if we can. I guess what I'm saying is you want to live out here on Long Island. At least tell me to think about it. I don't need to think about it. I'm sad. I'm sad. It's just for a month or so. <sighs> you marry me before you leave. We don't have to tell anybody. We just do it quickly. Just keep it between us. So this is it. This is... Where you live? Yes. And if you make one tiny noise, she'll evict me. Don't get caught. Nobody walk in. Occupado. Where's your girl from? And the school at the uh, County Wexford. Yeah, from my wife has family there. Hey, Ailish. Come here a sec. Anthony Fiorello and Ailish Lacey. Okay. Please continue to go well with them. Please. Please. This girl deserves so much happiness. Nancy, you look Aww. so glamorous. I'm so glad you can come to the wedding. Can I? Your mother accepted the invitation on your behalf. Oh. When is it? The 27th of August. Will you come out with George and me tomorrow night? Annette wants to see you too. I'm booked to go back to New York on the 21st. Uh, oh, you can wait an extra week to see your best friend married. Uh, oh, no. I can already see the situation arising. Ah, oh, it's so sad. Can't believe I'm married to someone you'll never know. Yeah. I wish everything were different. Oh. No. Uh. Uh oh. There's another man in the car. Ailish, this is Jim Farrell. It's a great pleasure to meet you. We well, this could be awkward. You gotta tell Where's her. Where's Annette? And why has he come? He's very nice, so don't be too hard on him. Uh. Nancy, I'm, I'm going back. But you can have a bit of fun while you're here, can't you? No, ma'am. She got a man back home, an Italian man. I want to do what Rose did. I want to work in an office and deal with numbers. Oh, you should call in at Davis's. They haven't managed to replace Rose, you know. I'll be going back to New York straight after the wedding. But you might want to earn a little money in the meantime. I'm sure they'd be glad to have job. you. job? But you just want her to stay. <laughs> I'm only thinking of Eilish. Do you hear that, Eilish? It's only thinking of you. Oh, sticky situation. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> was that Jim Farrell I saw in the car with them? Uh-oh. It was. His parents are moving, you know. They're retiring to the country. He'll be in that big house on his own. Is that right? <sighs> He's a catch for someone. Yeah, for someone. Not her. 
A lad from Davis has came round. They have a problem in their accounts department. They need you up there straight away. Is that all? Oh. I'll just put the shopping away. Let me do the shopping. Trying to get her to stay. As you can see, it's all a terrible mess. Well, if you leave me for a couple of hours, I can work out a system so that whoever comes in after me won't have any trouble. She keeps saying it, though. She's like, I gotta leave. Person after me. I'm not staying. <laughs> well, we'll certainly need someone to deal with wages and so on during the busy season. So I'd like you to continue on a part-time basis. Let's see how that goes, and then we'll speak again. Oh. I'll be going back to the United States soon. As I say, let you and I speak again before we make any firm decisions one way or the other. Uh, yes, Mr. Brown. Of course. Okay. Thank you. Can y'all let her live? <laughs> let the girl live. She's so fucking pretty. Oh my god. She just is. She's she's just a pretty person. You must seem very backward to you now. Of course not. No. You seem calm and civilized and charming. I get why she's not telling them that she's married, but like. Probably avoid some problems in the near future. A special trophy for the best score by a lady newcomer at the club. Every year, someone will win the Rose Lacey Trophy. Yeah, every year. That's nice. As long as there's a golf club. I think she'd like you to come along and present it to the first winner. Well... I wish it had been like this before I went. There was nothing here for me before. Now I have a job and... Yeah, really, though, it's like, of course, everything like this is happening after she left in the first place. I really need your help, Frankie. You know you're the best writer and reader in the family. Yeah. I'm trying to write to Ailish, and I want it to be, I don't know. Uh, You've wrote before already, about five times. Yeah, but they're no good, Frankie, and she's only written back once. Listen, I'm eight years old. I don't know anything about kissing. You don't need to know anything <laughs> about kissing. Mom and Dad and all my brothers, they all say hello. Oh. I think about you most minutes and most days. Even when I go see the Dodgers, I oh, no. do not concentrate on the games. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, the situation is going to get very... Um... I wonder what she's thinking, you know? Is she just... Maybe you shouldn't have gotten married. Ugh. Mother's worried about leaving me here on my own. She thinks I'll destroy the place. Uh, I'm hoping you won't be on your own forever. It's a whole house. I'm sure he won't. I mean... Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know how this is going to play out. You have quite the decision to kind of make. Almost. Oh, okay. Here we go. I don't know what I want you to know. Very conflicted. Lord, bless these rings. Grant that those who wear them may always be faithful to each other. May they do your will and live in peace with you in mutual love. Jim and I you promised my mother we'd take her back to the car. Mm -hmm. Do you hear that? Jim and I. Oh Jim my goodness I. gracious. <laughs> Damn old lady getting in my business. <laughs> Girl, you are treading on thin ice right now. I don't want you to go. Yep. I want you to stay here with me. Mm hmm But your life here could be just as good. Better, even, maybe. You don't know, huh? <laughs> you don't. And now you have a very tough, interesting sort of decision to kind of make. Are you going to run away from this guy or are you going to run away from your Italian husband? You look after things for five minutes while I'm upstairs with the Eilish, please, Mary. There are no customers in there at the moment, so I don't think you can make too much of a mess of things. She's such an ass. Stand up to her. Stand up to her. Please put her in some sort of place. You are better than this. You are in a better position. 
You got this. And there's lots of talk about you and young Jim Farrell. Oh, well, you know what people are like. They love to talk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you remember Mrs. Brady? Mrs. Brady has a niece living in Brooklyn. The world is a small place, isn't it? She had a letter from her a couple of weeks back. And what did it say? Uh... Oh, only that she'd been to a wedding at the City Hall. And her husband bumped into a girl from Enniscorthy who oh. was getting married there. It had to be her, huh? It had to be this woman to get this information. Oh, you can't fool me, Miss Lacey. <gasps> Although I'm not sure that that's your name any longer, is it? He couldn't remember. Something Italian, he thought. He'd forgotten. You'd forgotten? What a thing. I'd forgotten what this town is like. Mm hmm What were you planning to do, Miss Kelly? Stand up to her. Rip her apart. Get me away from Jim. My name is Ailis Fiorello. Well, that, that put the nail in that coffin. All right, time to go back to America. <laughs> yeah, what a hoe. Hello. I'd like to make a reservation for the next available sailing from Cove to New York. Eilish, what's the matter? Has something happened with Jim? Ugh. Not me, I'm sorry. I got married in Brooklyn before I came home, and I should have told you. I wanted to be with my husband. Of course. So you're going back? <laughs> yes. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bed. No. Mammy, it's not even eight o'clock. You don't have to. I'm very tired. And I'd like to say goodbye now. And only once. <sighs> no. Come on. Come on. That's not fair. Perhaps you're right in telling me about him. I will. Good night, Eilish. That was a tough but very, very inevitable conversation. Of course she feels guilty, you know? Yeah. I feel bad for him too, but... Just wasn't meant to be. So your wife lives in America? I'm gonna live in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> no, it's just like home. <clears throat> and in a moment, I want you to go straight down to your cabin and lock the bathroom door on your side. When next door starts hammering, you can negotiate. <laughs> when you get to immigration, keep your eyes wide open. Look as if you know where you're going. Oh, pass on the information. Like <laughs> and you'll realize that this is where your life is. Oh. Yay! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that was great. <laughs> no, I'm tearing up. Stop it. No. Oh, stop it. Oh, uh, okay, okay, all right. Oh, uh, okay, okay. We're good. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, there's been so many moments throughout this where I like I felt it though, you know, and this is like the apex right now. So we're good, we're chill, we're chilling, we're good. Anyway, <laughs> that was fantastic. Absolutely a fantastic film, and I absolutely loved it. I I really, really loved it a lot. And I'm <sighs> Ah, stop it. Oh my god. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. It was just touching and really beautiful in so many ways and just a really good story and it was funny and it was drama of course and it was just really good it was really good <laughs> i really loved it actually <laughs> like i was just kind of blubbering just before this was a really really beautiful well done 
just really, really good film, and I absolutely loved it. It just had so much good to it. The actors were amazing. The acting just itself was great. Everybody did so well. The music, the just locations and everything, just it was just just so well done. And the story, everything that happened in it, just it was just oh god, I'm like gushing about it. This was so good. I truly love everything that I watched. There really hasn't been a film that I haven't enjoyed in some capacity. But then there are just films like this where I'm just like I'm just like, I'm just warm and fuzzy inside because it is just such a a good film. Some of my favorite films that I have watched on this channel have been comedies. Like, Mrs. Doubtfire is a big favorite of mine. The Birdcage is another favorite of mine. But again, there are just movies like this where it's just like, it's just everything was well done. I loved all the characters. All of the little quips and back and forths and... Just like the all the, the table discussions at, at dinner, like that was just hilarious. Just the dynamics between people, the relationships between people, the sad moments, the happy moments, the funny moments, everything. It was just, it really was just to me, perfect, a perfect movie to me, a perfect movie. I loved pretty much every single character, except for, of course, the lady who ran the shop in the beginning. She's an asshole through and through, and I'm so glad that Ailish just socked it to her. You know what? She stood up for herself. She just told her off in the most Ailish way, of course, because she's a very nice person and I would have done much worse, but you know, <laughs> I'm just glad she did that. I really, really am glad that she did that, that she had that moment because you know what? She deserved to have that moment. She deserved to kind of stick it to her, you know? But yeah, I mean, I can only say positive things about this. I literally, that, that's it. I have nothing negative to say. I absolutely enjoyed the heck out of it. It was such a good watch. Absolutely. I mean, before it was requested of me to do it, I've never heard of it. I really haven't at all. I had no idea what this movie was going to be about. And so the fact that I've never even heard of this film before that was, you know, in discussion, like this request... I just, I love it even more because of that, because it's just, it's just one of those things where you're just like, oh, okay, well, I've heard of this movie and I finally watched it. And it was great, but it's like, it's a movie I've never heard before at all. I have no idea it existed and I loved it. And I, I love those films. Really great story. You really fall in love with the characters. Absolutely just kind of beautiful movie overall. I loved it. I loved it a lot. And I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did enjoy yourself, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. And of course, if you did want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. So you can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Plays. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. But I am also on Twitch and streaming over there whenever I can. Once again, I love this. There was so much good about it. Nothing bad about it. And I can just kind of keep gushing about it a bit. Super enjoyable time. Thank you to Carlos for requesting this. I know you've been waiting for a bit for me to watch it. And I am so, so, so glad that I did watch this. Once again, I hope you all liked this reaction to this movie. And I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie. Toodaloo. Adios. And goodbye. Bye. Bye.